Hi there. Today we will be looking at Mozart's Symphony No. 40 in G minor. To understand the piece, we must first look at its overall form. It is in sonata form, which means that it is separated into three distinct sections. In order of appearance, they are the exposition, the development, and the recapitulation. We will talk about and explore each section as we get to it. In the very first section of the sonata, the exposition, we are presented with two characters, each with their own distinct melodic theme. We follow the journey of these two characters and their themes throughout the piece and show how they interact and affect one another. In this piece, we have who we'll call the evil wizard, who is represented by this theme. Our other character, who we'll call the Gallant Knight, is represented by this theme. The relationship of these characters in the exposition can best be visualized as a Venn diagram. As you can see, each character has their own distinct realm and only interact in the middle. The middle section is the transition section between the statement of each of these in the exposition. Each character also distinguishes itself from the other by being in a different key. After being introduced to each of our characters, we can move into the development section of the piece. It is in this section that we can really see an antagonist-protagonist dynamic. In our case, it is as if the wizard and the knight are doing battle. In the development, each character has their own time where they are making themselves heard, or winning in the case of our combatants. Another way to look at it is if we had a jar with oil and water in it. All the oil is at the top, and all the water is at the bottom. Just as it is, in, is, we can say that the jar represents the exposition without just it being settled, with the oil at the top, say, representing the wizard, and the water at the bottom, say, representing the knight. Well, the development is like taking that jar and shaking it up so that the oil and the water mix. Each theme is changed and intertwined into something new, and musically, we hear different keys, embellishments, and many more augmentations to each of the original themes. As our oil and water settle again, and our combatants grow weary, we move into the last section of the sonata, the recapitulation, or recap for short. In this section of, of the piece, our characters' themes separate once again, but, unlike in the exposition, they are no longer at odds with one another. Our wizard and knight have finally reconciled their differences and now cooperate to bring the piece to a close. In the exposition, the knight theme was in a different key than the wizard theme. Now, in the recap, we hear the knight theme in this key. And the wizard theme in the same key. Our characters have set aside their differences in the recapitulation to finalize the key of the piece and bring our story to a close. I hope that this talk will help you understand and enjoy the piece you are about to hear more than you would have five minutes ago. I encourage you to create your own two characters whom you will see interact over the course of the piece to create a listening experience that is unique to yourself. Thank you.